You're watching Paul's Under Org, and we're here at the RFID Fitment Center. So this is a new system to replace the likes of Smart Tag and Touch and Go on local highways. So let's see what this new system is all about. Registrations for this only started last month in August, and they've received over 100,000 applicants. Since this is just a pilot program, only 10,000 cars will be selected for the first phase. So we've just installed RFID on our car right here and it's not as simple as you would have thought. So come, let's take a closer look. RFID is just a small sticker that emits radio frequency signal and it's supposed to be stuck on either your windscreen on top here or the front headlamp. But of course, there are small little things that you have to take care of which may affect your installation. Like me, I think most people would prefer to stick it on the windscreen, but there are a lot of technical restrictions that will affect where you can or cannot install them. First of all, it's said that you can't go through window tints, so you can't stick it on the inside. As for the outside, you're gonna make sure it doesn't go into the path of your windscreen wipers. And there's also a rule where you can't go too close to the metal parts of your car. So there goes the top half, and the extreme sides of your windscreen. So for most people, you'll end up having to stick on your front headlamp instead. So this is the actual sticker that's installed on this car. Clearly, it's not the most elegant looking solution so far, but this is just merely a pilot program. So maybe they may revise the design later on in the future. One note on installation, it has to be done by an RFID staff at only RFID fitment centers, so you can't bring it home and do it yourself. Why? Because you have to try it out whether it works or not. There's a special system that checks out whether where you're going to place it, whether it works from there or not. So clearly this is not a DIY solution. As for the sticker itself, it's designed mostly to stick onto glass rather than plastic, which is why it's only limited to just the windscreen or the headlamps. It also stops people from stealing your sticker, put it on their own car. It doesn't work that way. This system is linked to an app on your smartphone called Touch and Go e-wallet. With this, you have an e-wallet balance which you can top up using online banking or credit card. The good thing is, it's not linked to your actual wallet or even your Touch and Go card. It's all through the app. Everything can be done within the app itself, whether you're reloading or transferring your credits. And it also saves you from going to a physical store to top up. And if you're particular about this, there are no reload fees within the app. For this pilot program, the RFID sticker and installation comes free of charge, but there may be a charge later on, which will be announced later on in 2019. For now, RFID is available on 16 highways throughout the Klang Valley, and the numbers will rise gradually in the near future. For those of you who are asking, your smart tags will not become obsolete because this will still work as per normal for the next few years at least. So that's it for a quick intro on the new RFID toll system. What do you think about it? Do you think it's a good move forward or is it a step backward? And what do you think of the sticker design itself? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.